Hey guys, today we have a, uh, a Shave Mac silver tip two band. Most brushes do not call a two band a silver tip, but they do here at Shave Mac. Um, it's not a super dense brush, and I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, the handle is a little short for me. Um, I'm still kind of exploring whether or not I'm happy uh, with that, but I do like the knot so far. Very happy with that, definitely. Uh, today's a, that's the difference in today's shave. Everything else is going to be the same as yesterday. A uh, Kai blade. This will be its ninth shave. An Admiral, which is uh, Icarus shaving soap base from Declaration Grooming. The scent was made by Chatillon Lux. Nice kind of light brown color. I love the smell of this guy. I'm not unhappy at all about using it again. Rex Ambassador. I, I think I'm finding that this particular razor doesn't quite match my, uh, my preferences for the feel of the razor on my face. It uh, just kind of has an even set at like a two. Um, and here's that Kai blade. Even set at a two, it still gives me kind of a more sharp blade edge feel than I might prefer. There's kind of a touchiness, a finickiness. Um, so let's uh, set the gap here. And it's a one to six is the range. I'm going to use a two uh, today as well. I might switch down to a one after I kind of finish with these drag experiments that I'm doing. I'll tell you about that more in a minute. And let me throw some water in my face. A little bit less than 24 hours of growth today, I believe. Maybe just 24. Blades in. Now I'm going to do a 40 second load. Yesterday I, I wetted this lather down way too much with about five and a, five and a half teaspoons of water for a 50 second load. That was on a soft badger brush. This brush is a little more, uh, has a little bit more backbone. And so I'm going to go with a 40 second load. Um, and I'm definitely not going to have nearly as much water, maybe half that. So I've had this guy soaking in water and, uh, we'll shake, shake him loose. Most of the water gone. So we'll do a 40 second load. I'm pretty confident that's going to be plenty of lather. I did not soak it this time. Uh, I did not bloom it. The maker of this soap said that it's okay to bloom this one. And he actually recommends it, uh, that people try it out. All right. So I set a 40 second load and though there 10 has chimed on the, the video clock there. So we'll go all the way to 50. Just, uh, and this is a 26 millimeter, I believe. Uh, the uh, the brush here, just moderate pressure. Of course, the sprinkling some water on there for several minutes while you prep your gear is usually going to make it so you don't have to load for as long. I think when I did bloom it, I just loaded for about 15 seconds, and that was plenty for three passes. So piece of information there for you. All right, there we go. Not a very wet early lather there because I started off with the brush. Uh, not very wet. Roger Quintero Lather Bowl, 3D printed one this is. If you are interested in printing one for yourself like this, this is the extra large version. You can look at my description for a link to uh, if you have access to a 3D printer. You can download the files. All right, we're gonna stir for a little bit. Two teaspoons, maybe all I'm gonna put in this lather. I'm gonna go ahead and put in one and a half right now. I believe this lather is fine with adding water from the beginning. So uh, the drag thing I was telling you about. I was using Zingari Man and I noticed how kind of nourished and oiled up my face felt as I was using it. 
and sure enough they, they do focus on um, a definite post shave quality with that with that soap and I thought you know what if my face is absorbing some oils from the lather I think that's slowing down my razor and this particular razor kind of has a larger contact patch than many and so it's possible that razors like that could give the user some drag feel and so if the uh, user didn't know any better they might uh, they might be working with some drag that they you know didn't want and so then I tried a uh, fine accoutrement soap which doesn't really focus on poche which is more of a soap less moisturizers it's a hard puck and I got a much more slick shave, a lot better glide with the razor. And so that led me to start putting together a hypothesis. So I've been trying all these new bases where the focus is the post shave, like uh, milk steak, uh, like a holy cow buffalo, the water buffalo base, um, Declaration Grooming Icarus. Barrister and Man Excelsior. And so far, the only, uh, and this one, Icarus, yesterday had some drag. Zingari Man had some drag. And Holy Cow Buffalo had some drag. But the others were fine. And so yesterday's lather, since it did have some drag, it was a really, really wet lather, just dripping off of me. It was serviceable, but really wet. And so I thought to give a better, more realistic test, let's build up a lather that is not quite so, so wet. Now this one looks terrific. Definitely doesn't look as wet as what I got yesterday, but let's take a feel. Yeah, I better use that. That doesn't, uh, it's definitely not too thick cold water today and I do have hard water here so um, if a water if a lather works well for me most of the time it'll work well for you if you have hard water or softer I need to find the measurements to figure out exactly how hard my water is I can offer you that information too because there are people I'm sure out there with harder water than me all right a little water on my face again and I do plan on bringing in a little hot water to the shave um, during the winter here just to kind of bring my rinse water up to the temperature of lukewarm. If my face is desensitized by cold water during my shave, I don't mind it so much, but I don't uh, have as good of a feel for the brush. And so any brush testing that I'm doing, uh, it's kind of invalidated a little bit. So this brush has nice soft tips it's got pretty good, um, it's got a good backbone from my perspective because it's just kind of medium. It's good enough to focus the tips at the face. The uh, bristles aren't just bending over to where you don't experience the tips. But it's uh, easy display, comfortable. It's not shoving my, you know, skin around. I think this uh, might be a spot on lather. Maybe a little more moisture put in it here. cream it up just a little bit more because that's one of the things I complained about the drag where I just mentioned it I didn't really complain people said make you know you may not be watering your lather enough which is usually not something I struggle with if you've watched my channel very much
All right, I think we're good there. There did need just a little bit more. Now, um, Icarus here, this base hasn't really been around for a long time, relatively speaking. I guess uh, he's come out with uh, milk steak and people are loving it in general. And uh, I think maybe there was a perceived problem with people not being able to lather this Icarus, but you can see me. Uh, it's kind of my normal technique. It's uh, the wonderful, slick, creamy lather. So I think maybe there are guys out there that, uh, I don't know, maybe they just want it to be quicker or something like that. I don't, I don't know, but I have never had a problem with it. Okay, so we're still set at a two for the uh, Rex. And this is the Kai Blade. Yesterday, it gave me a comfortable shave that I was very happy with until I got to the end. And the closeness here on my neck, uh, trouble spot, was just not there. Just a little too much of a shadow. Uh, several hairs, plenty of hairs that I could see a little bit of length on. And that's not as good as I want to be able to do. So let's try it today to see if... I'm sure the comfort's going to be fine, but to see if maybe a lather that's not quite so wet will help the blade to cut closer. Not really too concerned about drag. Uh, during the first pass, usually you don't really see too much of it. I do feel just a little. But I'm going to pay attention once most of the stubble has gone. And that's when the, you really get the contact between the razor head. And your skin. All right, rinse. All right, second pass. I'm glad I did the 40, 40 second load. I don't have tons of lather here. I'm sure it's gonna be enough to do the job of a three pass shave. But I don't think I'm gonna to have too much excess. Definitely don't have to load as much if you bloom it previous yeah this brush feels good not really noticing any problem with the handle today so that's cool so shave mac is interesting um, they're over in germany and they uh, are one of the few brush makers where you can Go over and just pick all the different attributes about your brush. You know, what handle do you want? Um, what uh, what knot do you want? The shape, um, as well as whether you want the silver tip uh, two band, the three band. The, um, you know, they have a couple of different finest badger knots. And then you get to choose the kind of the loft as well, uh, which handle. A diameter you want just a whole bunch of different options that a lot of people don't give you all right now we're going to start kind of paying attention to the drag if it if it's going to be there so far it's pretty nice Cross grain now. I like the weight of this razor. It's kind of compact and dense. I like the grip on the handle. It's kind of a raised grid pattern. 
Maybe a little drag, but nothing worth reporting. So that's cool. All right, let's do that third pass. Pretty much using up the soap that's in there. There's enough for a touch up. Now, I like the feel of the brush and I'm kind of evaluating it. And so you don't really have to do this scrubbing action on the second and third passes. You can switch immediately to this painting type action if you want. Some people actually don't do any scrubbing. They just do the painting. But I kind of like the, the feel of the scrub in the splay. So I do it. All right, third pass. You know, I think I was getting some drag yesterday because the lather was too wet. I think it's possible to get some drag at both ends of the hydration spectrum. Yeah, I think taking, taking it right here, if I take this kind of diagonal right there, it ends up to be more of a cross grain. No, not really too much perceived drag. So Icarus, uh, not really, not really an issue. Again, the Kai has kind of left me with several hairs with uh, visible length on them. So while it may be a super sharp blade sometimes, now this is the uh, ninth use. It's possible, though I haven't yet found, a blade uh, testing about five or so that I haven't yet found a blade that was dulled this quickly that's possible definitely want to put it in another uh, razor that I get better shaves from try it out all right rinse time oh you know what I might do a touch up here let me splash a little bit of water on my neck there and let's do a touch up in my little trouble spot since I do have enough soap to do that plenty 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 maybe the uh, the angle that they set this blade to just kind of doesn't really work with my skin you know it's possible everybody's got different yeah that does a better job but there's still still plenty of hairs there that are being stubborn all right good to know so this one kind of pulled the uh the icarus out of the drag category i didn't really have a problem at all so there's that on oh, the admiral man i love that scent it's not super strong it didn't even uh, i kind of even went past it because i was focused so much on the brush and the uh and the razor and, and how the drag felt and all that so it's not something that's at least for me going to jump in your face and, and and annoy you so we're looking at a 40 second load today with kind of an average badger brush not super dense, uh, not super, not super strong, stiff in terms of backbone. Just kind of right, kind of middle of the road, and I think that's why I like it. And uh, about two and a quarter teaspoons of water for that. All right. While my face is still kind of moisturized and stuff with the water, I'm going to throw on some post shave, some test depth from Reef Point soaps. I and my wife like this one, so. 
that's a good reason to wear it whenever I do a daytime shave. Unfortunately, Reef Point had to close their doors, uh, but fortunately for me, I did manage to pick up a lot of the, several of their soaps. Um, but this may be the only aftershave that I that I have from them. All right, well, we're all done. Uh, feel good. The uh, my face very comfortable. Didn't really notice very much stinging. Uh, so it looks like uh, my technique was pretty good. Of course, the uh, in my while down here, I may not have gotten a, some of those tricky hairs cut. Uh, I had a nice cut on my cheeks, and so that blade is sharp enough to do a lot of damage uh, in terms of giving you a nice close cut. Uh, I just may not be able to, in this razor at least, get some of those tricky spots. Um, and so I didn't really feel any um, you know, stinging or anything like that. So a nice comfy shave uh, and a good, good technique because of that lack of stinging. I didn't... Uh, you know, mark myself up or anything like that, even if it didn't weep or bleed. And I have a little bit less redness right here, so that's always a good thing. A little bit of menthol in that aftershave, and, uh, but fortunately it doesn't really cause me too much of a problem. Uh, Alright, so Icarus, not a draggy soap for this type of razor. So, so far I guess the Zingari Man and the Holy Cow Buffalo are the only ones. And so it looks like my theory is less of a pattern across all moisturizing soaps. Maybe there's a certain combination of ingredients that help to increase drag in a soap. I don't know. I don't know. All right, now I hope there's been uh, something good and helpful here to you. Thanks so much for, uh, for watching. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You take care.